bloody battle. Also, oh no, bloody bulls. But they're not bulls, they're goats. Um, but also that you can beat 400 TV down is stupid as well, isn't it? AVRS isn't new, but he could be new. And then you could be like 400 down, 400 TV down. He's got best fagos. <laughs> Missed next game, thank God. But like, you know, that's annoying, isn't it? The TV differences. At least if I like played somebody who was good at Dota, they would just beat me and I'd be like, all right, good, he's better than me. But um, if you fucking got 400 TV down, you'd be like, what the fuck is this shit, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Destronaut, yeah. <laughs> Not rookie. It's not rookie. No, it looked it looked rookie, but it's it's actually half dead, which is actually a much more um, much more terrifying prospect. And like you know, if if you if you like you know, I don't know. I mean if. Necromunda fan. Um, I don't know if anything's known about the PC game, to be honest. I haven't been following it, but I hope I hope it's like it sticks more to the board game or it just completely rips off XCOM. I don't want it to be shit like I don't know. I mean I don't know how shit Mordheim was, but I watched I watched Russ playing it. And it just looked shit. Um so I hope Necromunda is is as good as people wanted the to be fair the necromunda board game wasn't even very good it's the most overrated game of all time people bought it and really it wasn't what it just honestly wasn't a very good game obviously it was a really good setting and everything but it was it wasn't it wasn't a very good game just quietly No, that's that's bad. I just hope it's good. I just hope the Necromunda game's good. I don't know how they'll do it. Is there a new Necromunda box set? More time was better than Necromunda though, Ducky. They've re released Necromunda, the board game. Yeah, exactly, Dr. Callis, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 13 gods, that's fair. Just came off Friday, wow. Yeah, more time was, just, was better mechanically, for sure. Though, then obviously, yeah, as as Adonna Keller said, was the concept and all that, and that's the thing with Necromunda. It's like um, with Necromunda, that was it, wasn't it? It was all the fluff and the air uh, and the concept and all this kind of looks. The thing is, Jelly Law, there's no, but there's no Grand Masters in Blood Bowl, is there? So, <laughs> you know, or or anything like, you know, there's nobody, nobody's actually good at Blood Bowl like they're good at chess, are they? So, you just don't know how complicated it is or how good people could be. I think I don't know. It's a funny old game. Necromunda Light three v three. Mm. 
Yeah, the luck element. Yeah, it makes you wonder how much it, how much luck is involved, doesn't it? Really, it does make you wonder. And the limited time as well, mate. Like you know, hmm. yeah, poker's pretty pretty good, isn't it? Because there is a random element, but then also good. <laughs> oh, Tony. Yeah, with voice. I mean, the thing was, I just fucking read the rule book. But in this day and age, nobody on earth reads rule books. <laughs> So, you've got a problem, haven't you? If you want to go that way, that route. Dead him with the gym pals. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's that hard to teach somebody face to face, but I just think it's hard for somebody buying the, buying the Blood Bowl too computer game to get into it unassisted. That's what I think is difficult. He's strength four, isn't he, this goblin? <laughs> oh man should have got sent off for that double two shouldn't he Can't I can't get them? The only way to get him is with a is with the uh, is with the fucking the power bird, isn't it? He needs to get in there. You need to put a guard in there and a player in there and block him. Follow. B L G F Bobby Fisher. <laughs> Blitz him. Oh, what's happened? The game's crashed. No. Blitz him with a guard and then get another. You no, know, because there's the guard in there. So the blitz has to be on him. And have to take him out first. Oh, I can put two guys in here. Really wanted like you know follow and then get the guards in and and hit him with mighty blow obviously, but um, it's not happening, is it? Classic.
scary turn coming up. Oh shit, he got a fireball. Random attrition fireball. Probably <laughs> picked up Blood Bowl and snapped. <laughs> I think I would have taken Mighty Blow if I wasn't streaming. I think I would have gone Strength 4 Mighty Blow if I wasn't streaming. But I'm stunned now. <laughs> I tell you what though, fucking speaking of speaking of getting diced and blaming the Jews, uh, what's he called? Mel Gibson's back in back in movies, isn't he? Unbelievable. Pow me blodger. Fair enough he had six dice on him. He didn't get diced, but, you know, he just, <laughs> he went nuts about you, didn't he, one time. Yeah, I was just reminded by him, because Shawnee's saying getting diced. No, who was it? BZL saying he got diced and blamed the Jews. <laughs> yeah, he didn't use the I'm gay defense. <laughs> This was a, this was as horrific as I thought that turn would be. To be fair, that was not a good turn. I guess the the fireball. I wasn't expecting the fireball, but um, still, that was a bad turn, wasn't it? Just quietly. Dodge away. Then still a one dice. He could go there and pile. But he's only strength three, so he can't really. Time for a skull here. No. Oh, he nearly made it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I know I write it down to Kelly's what a noob I was. Griff. Yeah, it depends. It depends, doesn't it, Jelly? It depends how you judge them. If you judge them in a vacuum, or if you judge them in what team they get used, then um, City Billy's probably the best because he's not a skink. Glorious! Thank you very much, Eurodyne, for the nine months. Unbelievable stream, baby. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Eurodyne. Thanks for staying fantastic. Oh, yeah. Glorious. Moranian is a bit shit, though, isn't he? Um, I think Griff's the best, though. <laughs> Cheney's really good, yeah. Cheney's really good. Silly Billy's really good. This chainsaw's really good when he kills him. Fuck off. I'm done. I knew I shouldn't have exposed him to the soul. I knew it would be a Kaz. <laughs> Fucking knew it would be. <laughs> He's not rolling like tea. For fuck's sake, because of him being there, I can't get the guards in. Call the guards. Got to re-roll this dodge. And he goes in there, cancel that assist. Alright, let's go then. Strength 5 chainsaw. The fuck? Strength 4 even. Oh my god! Can I roll something that isn't a fucking push? Didn't have much choice, did I? I pushed him. Yeah, it doesn't really, yeah. Fucking hell, man. All the fucking pushers in the world. This is a team end of this, isn't it? It would have been good if it had been a rookie chaos team instead of a fucking claw mino and some guard and the chainsaw. The best a chainsaw has ever been against me. I knew Tease was just going to roll a 1 when he, when he blitzed. And I knew fucking AVRS was just going to fucking wreck me with him. Yeah, so actually cheaper than they should be. Uh, what's it called? Um, the... Uh, Lude grip is cheaper than he should be. Yeah, he's strength for Rappel, isn't he? Moranian, I guess he's. He does something, but he's you know, he's just 
he hasn't got the uh He's not as flashy as the others, is he? That's the thing. Yeah, he's still shit, yeah. <laughs> he is, pretty much. Fucking breads. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Hubris is more likely to be just running around mighty blowing people. That's true. I agree with that. I concur, Your Excellency. Um, well, let's get him there. Him there. Fuck me, roll the power. Oh god, killed him. Get prickled on you, cunt. I wouldn't say he's a game changer, though. I'd say he's just a... Uh, you know, it's like... He's tackle without Mighty Blow. So straight away, he's nowhere near as good as, as what, like, you'd want. Like, he's not bad, obviously. Moranian, but I don't know, I'm just not... I just don't like him that much. If I go there, I'll just get served by the fucking Minotaur. It wasn't a good game, only have 12 guys in, I think. <laughs> Look, everything's situational, isn't it? Everything in Blood Bowl is situational. And Moranian is a situational star. Cheney isn't. Griff isn't. They are just both good all the time, aren't they? There's n he's never, it's never bad to have Griff on your team. Whereas, straight away, you wouldn't want... There's a lot of situations where you'd rather have Hubris than Morania. That, that, that's all I've got against Morania. Yeah, it's the longest I've ever seen a chainsaw stay on the field as well. It's a bit of a joke. It helps that he's strength four, like, and he had two guards to flank him with. He's just niche, isn't he? Moranian's niche, basically. And even if he's got quite a wide niche. Um, he's got strip. He's strength for a strip. If you've got the wizard and him. Moranian probably is the only tackle star player, yeah. No, maybe, maybe he's one of the dwarves. Maybe the dwarves and chorfs. 
probably got tackled, haven't they? Like the shitty, the shitty, uh, the shitty chaff, strength four chaff, and all kind of stuff. block the saw and then go for a 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus to 1 dice the ball oh, but it's just seems crap doesn't it like doing any of this just seems shit Yay, finally got the knockdown. I mean, basing the ball's no point. One dice powering him is no even point in doing that either, to be fair. Good job I didn't pound him in, eh? Could follow, I guess. Couldn't surface. <laughs> Try to help that base, base, base even more. Yeah, exactly T self, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer the Apple too, babes, absolutely. Because you can just Apple, you can just Apple a KO. I would rather Apple an early KO than rely on babes. Babes are maybe better if you like a team of dwarves, so you're unlikely to get cows and stuff. But I just like that you can use your apple on a KO. Yeah, babes for regen teams, yeah, for sure. Got a score now, hasn't he? Got a chance to two turn it. As ridiculous as this match has gone, and it has gone pretty fucking ridiculous, let me tell you, fucking Sir Stotty getting banged on. Two KOs, done nothing. Oh no, I did a KO, so alright, fair enough. Let you off then. Got a chance to two turn, not bad. Wish I still had the fucking, the king bird. Dwarves are unlikely to get killed, yeah. Dwarves are actually unlikely, aren't they? Yeah. That was the, it's, it's much better to go apples for dwarves. They're more likely to get Kaz than KO'd. I don't know why I was thinking dwarves. <laughs> that was completely wrong. It's a miss next game on the strength five. Making, making the apple a very hard thing to do, wasn't it? Because I want to save it for a perm on him. <laughs> But if he'd been badly hurt, maybe it would have been worth it definitely getting back in the game. But to only maybe get him back in the game, I'd rather save it for a perm then. 
But God, he would have been he would have been great, wouldn't he, for just pass it to strength five, run down, score. Mm. It was a piece of piss. Again, the saw was pretty good because it meant I couldn't pile on as well, wasn't it? Didn't it? Wasn't it? Mm. He's down to ten now, though. Versus nine. No KOs back, absolutely standard. He can, Sir Throw can do a throw. <laughs> oh man! So put more players outside. That seems fair. Because I don't really want to go where the minor is. But then, oh god, he's got jugs as well. Yeah, right, let's go down this side. Oh, it's really hard to fucking do anything with no men, isn't it? Holy shit. How the fuck do I even do anything here? Four, five, six. And another one there, and have him like here. Seems fucking rough. Fucking rough in it. Ugh. Like, I guess I don't need somebody over there, but I, I feel like I kind of do need somebody over there. Or maybe I could just go all into this. Get another body down there, I guess. Yeah, I mean, What if the kick goes here? I'm just fucked then. Well, then what's a peasant gonna do anyway? Fucking nothing. Let's get more men around this side. Hope there are birds, birds, birds. And go for the handoff, that's brilliant. Okay. Has do. Not bad. And if he goes to here, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI.
That seems a good place to stand, doesn't it? Alright, let's go for it. I think I just gotta go for it this turn. Phew. Catch. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. He pretty can't hit him there, can he? He could block and then could blitz him and put two guys on him, three guys on him. So maybe having him one forward, it's still hard to get him. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. That'd be a lot of rolls. And then he can go. GFI there to stop him getting swarmed as much. Can block him, it doesn't make any difference. He can't run around the back. Blitzes one of these two, crushes in. Just made these blocks there. Maybe he's a G another GFI. Bert. Stockpiling apples. Get the dock. <laughs> Bit greedy, that wasn't it? Mate, the GFI didn't do the hit. Imagine if he'd rolled. The, imagine if he'd had the GFI, the re-roll the GFI, and then double scored the hit. I guess he can get a lot in the way back now. Got a bit of lateral movement though, don't I? Got two. Wow, doing that before just activating the mino. <laughs> I'll just. <laughs> Wow, he hasn't failed the roll. Fuck off, man. That's pretty annoying, isn't it? That's pretty annoying that he does that before moving the mine off. <laughs> Fuck, man. Why did you have to make every fucking roll under the sun? One, two... Uh, blitz somebody... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, no. God damn it. <sighs> that, was, that was a ridiculous fucking turn of dodges. Holy shit. Yeah, I think all I can do is do the 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus A. Eh? The only other option is this guy. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, GFA. You can't really do it. So. So just blitz with him. It's better, isn't it? Yeah, it is.
Click on the end zone. Fucking Bert. Pushing straight up could have set up a chain. Yeah. Would it have achieved anything? Like, I'm not taking the piss, I mean. I didn't see a way to do anything good. Four out of four, standard. Yeah, shit. Well, that would have been the play then, wouldn't it? <laughs> Didn't even use dodge. I guess better to better to make them them four pluses than these four pluses, but still. When KOs are Kaz, yeah, it's pretty annoying, isn't it? Taking three Kaz this game. But he's taken some as well, hasn't he? So he's down to nine. We're both on nine. His wizard's gone. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see it. it was possible. I mean, if it was possible, it would have been better to have done some kind of chain arena, wouldn't it? But, um... I can blitz, can blitz the block guard guy here. Oh, that levelled up, that guy. He didn't get his, his dog, his, um... He didn't get his completion, unfortunately, but never mind. I'll take a score. And seeing as uh, Chaos are only armor 8, could go alright, couldn't it, this? That was a leader that went as well, wasn't it? No, it didn't go. I just, I blitzed the leader, but didn't hurt him with a pylon. Shit. It'd be nice to have taken away a reroll. Okay, right, it's probably helpful. Ball's already safe. Block doing things that Wrestle never could. Come on, piling on mans, get him. <laughs> oh, what a shit pile on. Save, I don't think they pressure it too much. Oh, they can pressure it too much. Maybe I shouldn't have re ah, But then if he pressures that, he's not teeing off with a mine or. I've just noticed there's no warriors as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's another space you'd have to fill in BZL for that, yeah. Um, yeah, I never realised I never realised he had no warriors. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah, the bird pile on is is really bad, yeah. Maybe I should reroll that pickup, but then that's the thing. If he puts pressure on here, it means he's not hitting with mine, or it means he's not fouling the pommer. So.
Yeah, no fast Eddie. No, that's the point to like protect fast soft players like um like Wood Elves and that. Yeah, so he is going for the pressure with wrestles at a block, which I think was a mistake, but never mind. Gets rewarded with a KO. Yeah, so he can put some pressure on the ball here, can't he? Might even pick it up. Pick it up in a three plus because he's got extra arms. <laughs> Maybe I should re-roll the pickup. Yeah, fuck for fuck's sake. Good. Nice, the Pommer has to just stand up and get banged on. Huge one dicer. Thanks, God. Don't want to fail the fucking dodge, do I? That's the thing. At least now he's got to roll dice to get two dice on the ball. Or one dice on the ball. Now at least that stops him getting two dice into another two dice. Fucking rough though. Scurry. Crystal Hunter. Alright, so they both moved. So the two ramps equivalent to chaos. <laughs> I really wish I had the fucking strength five. Fucking Bretonian, I tell you. Another reason why Chaos are just like good, good for um, why Chaos are good for the ladder is, <laughs> Beastmen are really good against potatoes, aren't they? <laughs> because when people are, uh, oh there you go, that's uh, of course it is one dice pals. I'm a breaking. You knew, knew that was coming. Fucking hell. Just getting proper fucked.
What can I even do here? <laughs> he he can't. He, well, they can dodge afterwards. He can dodge afterwards. Blitz him on a one dice. So I have to stand him up to two dice out. And even then, it's not even two dicing out. It's two dicing out, needing a pal. And then a dodge, and just failing. And then basically conceding. Nothing I can do. Dice gonna dice there. Eh? Can't even dodge him because then he'll get a guard in. What a fucking joke. In Blodge we trust. Because I'm shit. Oh wow, he won in nine. Do not use wrestle. Thank you. Right, well, now things are looking <laughs> not that bad, are they? Didn't even need to trust him, Blodge. I don't want to rely on a dodge out here, though. A blitz is a one in 36 to fail, isn't it? Because a dodge is a one in nine. block with him on one dice so if it's a push this becomes a two dice which makes that also safer doesn't it right love to have blitz there though so this one dice there. Maybe I should have made GFIs or something then. Should have counted squares. It's on the sheet to count squares. I've got two minutes left of the turn. I could have counted squares for two minutes. Already looks like one GFI would have been worth it, wouldn't it? Like if I make this dodge, it's good, isn't it? But then if I fail it, it's fucking horrible. Not even I couldn't make it. Should have GFI'd. He could have dodged to there. What can he do? Block him. Probably, probably should have made the two GFIs. Really have to count squares, fuck's sake. If this is a fail, it's horrible. It just gives up an easy two dice, doesn't it? No guts, no glory. Glorious. Glorious birds. <laughs> G5. No, 
I don't think I will use wrestle actually. <laughs> Glorious. Mighty fucking birds. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Mighty birds. Could um dauntless the the uh, minor. Some bad luck for him there, wasn't there? Just need to skip your turns and let him fuck himself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the unstoppable Burt Whisperer. <laughs> oh, he's got he's got wrestle this time. <laughs> I thought he'd done it again. Holy shit. Could have two deep on the mine old TLC, but I wanted to make sure. Cause look, this guy, if I'd done that, this guy could have just, you know, got near and I didn't want to give him two turns to score. So So while yes I could have got the mine off. I just really didn't want to um didn't want to give him that much of a chance to get the ball. He could have put pressure on still and broke the stall. I am pretty stingy with my rerolls, yes largely a crux. I am. I like being stingy with my rerolls because what happens is when, I, when I'm not stingy with my rerolls, I tend to get fucked on. But now that there's no chance of any pressure, now I can try to 2D the uh, minor. Reroll that one then. Oh, good, that was worth it. <sighs> good job I saved my rerolls for that, eh? <laughs> I'd see a crystal from there. Yeah, that's the thing, Ladger Chris. I am stingy with my rerolls. The, the thing is, I'm, I'm used to playing Nurgle. I've played Nurgle more than any other team on Fumble, and 
and you've got to be stingy with your re-rolls there. And yeah, maybe I'm too stingy. I mean, I'm definitely stingy. Whether I'm too stingy or not is is up for debate, isn't it? Um, I think I wouldn't be as stingy with them if I felt I needed... Like, it's just different, in it? It's situational. I think it's also situational as well. Like, I think... I think the perfect play would be being more risky against worse coaches and less risky against bad ones. Um, so there would be a time to be stingy against them and others, you know, if you, or against against bad teams. Like if I was 400 TV down, it would be different than being 400 TV up, wouldn't it? Or however much this is. Quite, quite a lot of TV up, even though it didn't feel like it. Thanks to his crazy first half. I thought it was funny not even not even noticing the beast man. <laughs> not even noticing there weren't Chaos Warriors. <laughs> was uh pretty bizarre. Happy to win that, like, I'm shocked. I thought it was like it was so bad, wasn't it? The start like obviously the the his drive was, was fucking horrible. And then the start of the second half was horrible as well. That's a pretty pretty unbelievable comeback. Yeah, exactly, Shattered Ice. Yeah, wouldn't play risky against worse opponents. Yeah, exactly. Or when you're down, or when you're up TV, you don't play risky, you know? <laughs> Hello, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Throw. That was unbelievable, wasn't it, Mr. Throw? <laughs> yeah, I just misspoke. I said bad coaches both times. Yeah, I misspoke. Like, what I meant was, if you're playing somebody against Mo, you might have to go for more risky manoeuvres or use your re-rolls more liberally because you've got to go for the, the chances you get. Whereas if you're playing... Um, somebody who's bad or somebody if you've got 400 tv advantage maybe you should uh, be more conservative but i mean i do generally i do generally i'm very stingy with the rerolls I, I do appreciate that and maybe two wow <laughs> oh he's got juggernaut shit <laughs> maybe too stingy but then maybe not everything's pretty much subjective isn't it in blood bowl it's very rare. It's only basically on turn turn 16 scores and stuff like that are pretty much the only times when there's absolute optimal plays, isn't there? Not even dead because the screen went blue. Brilliant. Yes, exactly. Shattered eyes. Oh yeah, I would never want a greed reroll ever. I mean, I think greed rerolling is... Not something you really ever want to do. <laughs> I never want a greed reroll, but I mean, that I don't think that's on being stingy with your rerolls. I just think that's being like normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For me, they're just they're just an insurance against bad luck, really, aren't they? Oh my God, Sir Throw MVP levels up in his first game. What a fucking legend! Five AV breaks to twelve, but then like two of them were Kaz. So I got really lucky on the on the few armor breaks that I got. But then, to be fair, he got two more cards with those kills that didn't recover. And he, did a sh he got a shit fireball as well. There's two shit fireballs a day, but one devastating fireball. <laughs> You're not really missing to the guy. Sir Throw is not getting past an accurate. Sir Throw is getting dodged. And then maybe show sure hands. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll get plus strength. No, nearly a stat though. He's getting dodged, isn't he? Three touchdowns for another level. Oh my god, what's wrong with this laptop? 
Right, bodge tackle. It was a shame that he scored the touchdown because he didn't need it, but, you know, what can you do? I wanted to bludge it to have the ball. I guess sidestep. That's what I'm thinking for him, sidestep. Oh man, this team though. It's, it's, I like how they've just exceeded all expectations. They've just done unbelievably well. The fucking shitty birds. Um, yeah, exactly, Shattered Ice. Or when I tried to blitz out and, and got the ball down, you know, stuff like that. Um. Right, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.